Hi sweet cheeks, I'm back with another video and this time I thought I'd give you something a bit more colorful since it's autumn outside and the leaves are falling. I thought why not wear some color on your face. So if you want to know how to get this look, please keep on watching. So first of all, you want to get all your hair out of your face, like so. And then we're going to start by priming our face since this is a full face look. And I am using the Nivea Man Aftershave Balm, but you can use whatever primer you prefer. You just want to get a bit of this. And then rub it into your skin. Until it's like a bit tacky. And the good thing is it doesn't only just smell really good, but it works wonders. Next up, we're going to cover our under eye area and all the red spots. And for that, I'm once again using my Shape Tape Concealer by Tarte. While I was in London, I grabbed myself the Real Techniques Beauty Blender and it's working like a charm. It's not just really good with concealers, but also with foundations, which we're gonna go to next. I'm using one of my all-time favorite foundations, which is the Makeup Forever HD Ultra Stick in the color 117. You do need a lot of this. You can always go in with a bit more. Just start off by using a bit. Then all you want to do is blend it in. You want to work this in as far up as your hairline and as low as your neck. Also make sure to go over your ears. Next up, I'm gonna set my under eye area with a bit of loose powder by Vichy Derma Blend. This helps prevent creasing. Next up, we're gonna do some contouring and for that I'm using my MAC Brush 109 and the MAC Contour in Harmony. If you feel like you went a bit too harsh with this, you can always go over it with your beauty blender that still has a bit of foundation on it. Now we're gonna go in with my bronzer by Cover Fix in Sunset and the original brush from Sephora, which is the 43. You wanna have a light hand with this. Don't wanna go overboard. It's time for some blush and I'm once again using Melba by MAC with the MAC 129 brush. I got myself a new highlighter which also happens to be a MAC and the name is Soft and Gentle and I'm gonna use my MAC 268 brush which I also use to contour my underlip and my nose. And I'm gonna go over the highlight on my cheeks with my Morphe M310. Just so it pops a bit more. I'm gonna do my eyebrows real quick off camera. And I'm using once again my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in taupe as well as the Brow Definer in taupe. And the 12th brush by Anastasia Beverly Hills as well. 
I'm back and I have brows, woohoo! I also used my Makeup Forever brow seal to keep them in place. Next up are the eyes and all we need is three different MAC shades for this. Royal Woo, which is Chris Chang featuring MAC, Soft Brown and Hoax. And we're gonna apply these with my two favorite blending brushes, which is 217 and 224 to blend everything together. So we're gonna use the 217 to pack on the color in the crease. We're gonna start off by using soft brown. Next up, you wanna grab hoax and just go into the very outer corner with it. Then you grab the 224 to blend this in. Now for the fun part, grab Roy Wu and an angled brush, which is MAC 236 for me. And you just want to pack on the color on your lower lash line. Make sure to also cover the waterline. All you want to do is blend this together a bit, clean up the edges with a tad bit of concealer. Then grab a black eyeliner which is Urban Decay 24-7 liner in black for me and tight line. Last but not least, I'm gonna apply some mascara, which is Better Than Sex by Too Faced. This time I'm only going to apply it on my top lashes, so the yellow is popping a bit more. Now you just wanna repeat the same steps on the other side. For the lips, I'm gonna apply Lip Balm first, and then go in with London by NYX. It's a nice nudie color that works really well with the yellow. And last but not least, we're gonna pop on some highlight into the inner corner of our eyes. And our cupid's bow. To set this all in place, I'm gonna use the Chill Makeup Setting Spray by Urban Decay. For a list of every single product used, check out the description box. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And you can follow me on Instagram, that would be Hey Melly Hey, or on Snapchat, which is Mel Great. And I hope to see you guys all in my next video. Bye.